high water signs Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course those cross watching as well. And welcome to your tarot messages here. Today we're going to take a look at urgent messages from your spirit guides. Okay, so um, what are your spirit guides trying to communicate to you? What is it that they feel like you should know? Um, what is it that they're guiding you to or whom are they guiding you towards? Okay, um, these messages are going to be general guys So please just keep that in mind as it is a general reading if you are after personal tarot reading with myself Please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide my email address just below the video here in the show more section And I am going to go with a white background today. Just a bit of a change from the usual black I guess um, so I'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle here and we'll see what are the urgent messages from your spirit guides here, guys. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, but that came out in reverse here. So I feel like that's for a reason. You've also got the Eight of Pentacles, but it's also in reverse. We've got the Four of Swords. We've also got the Hermit here. I'm going to pull out four more. Are we straight? Okay. The Hangman. King of Cups and Queen of Swords here and lastly the Ten of Wands all right water energies let's begin with the Wheel of Fortune um, and let's not ignore the fact that it did come out in reverse for you guys the fact that it's in reverse tells me water signs that luck hasn't necessarily been on your side lately you've had some misfortune or you've been a little bit down on your luck um, in general, when it might come to love, romance, or just in general here. But the fact that the wheel of, uh, you know, wheel of fortune is in constant movement, the wheel in itself is always moving, it's a reminder that you're not, the like where you're currently at, are at right now in life is temporary, okay? You're not saying that it isn't permanent here, this isn't long term, it's not where you're going to unpack your bags and stay. So for those of you that are still going through something you know you're going through some turbulent or tumultuous situation or things are just not working out your way no matter how hard you're trying this is just a cycle okay and life is you know full of ups and downs just as something goes up something must come down and just as something is down eventually it will go back up so just because you're down on your luck right now you're not going to stay there guys i do feel like the wheel of fortune here is you know this giant wheel is going to start turning for a lot of you here and it's going to start um, turning in your favor here. Okay, the wheel here is, it rotates forever and it's in a cycle here. So, you know, I feel like for some of you, take comfort in the fact that, you know, the wheel suggests just as something comes up, the other must come down. So, and life is made up of both good times and bad times here. And I get it, guys, you've had your fair share of bad luck. You've had your fair share of misfortunes. Things are about to turn for you. The wheel here is about to turn for you here. Um, and, you know, th this this wheel of fortune, okay, This these cycles of ups, ups and downs, everyone is subjected uh, to, to the wheel of fortune, okay, both the kings and and the workers here, okay, both kings and the workers of the tarot decks, everyone is subject here, you can't avoid what is fated, okay, um, so for those of you that are in a bad situation, things are going to get better, okay, maybe not as soon as right now or tomorrow, but things are going to get better, so I need you to, you know, um, keep your chin up here, guys, okay, um, the other thing that I'm getting for you here, the Eight of Pentacles as well, you've got those two cards in reverse here, guys. For some of you, yeah, you've been working. I feel like there's something here you've been working on, um, so whether it's like a relationship, a marriage, or like a project, or you might have been working on yourself, but you're not necessarily seeing um, results, okay? Things aren't necessarily manifesting. Things aren't happening in the way that you want them to happen, Um 
for some of you i'm seeing that there are external factors that are affecting your life right now okay and these things are beyond your control here um, it's important for you, I feel like, to not, your spirit guides want you to know, do not cling on to the illusion of, um, to the illusion of something here, okay? Have patience, adapt to things, ad adapt to these changing circumstances, ad try and accept things as they are, because sometimes, a lot of the times we try and, you know, manipulate the outcome of a situation, we, or we try our best to control the situation here, but I feel like for a lot of you, there are external factors or forces, opposing forces here. And look, life has thrown an unexpected wrench into your plans. I get that. So for some of you, your spirit guides want you to know that this is all part of the process. This is all part of the journey. And you have to learn to adapt, okay? You have to learn to accept things sometimes as they are. And remember that, you know, for some of you, like we did speak about misfortunes or misgivings. Um, remember that this is going to pass. Okay, rather than try to attempt to manipulate or control a situation that is, to be honest with you, beyond your control here, I feel like it's important that you accept what it is and see what can be changed here. A lot of you right now, you need solitude as well with the Four of Swords and the Hermit. Um, your spirit guides are telling you that some of you, I feel like the cards here are suggesting there's a need for a seclusion and some of you you need solitude to be able to sort of negotiate certain things in your life and negotiate certain situations here so you need that calm you need you know that peace you need to go within some of you are looking for answers um with that okay and i feel like some some of you are sort of giving away your power by sort of seeking answers outside of yourself everything that you need all the answers that you need um all the questions that you need answers to they already are within you but what's happening is the the outside noise of the world is just too loud and it's drowning out your inner voice in seclusion that's where you're going to get you're going to hear your inner voice and that's where you're going to get a lot of clarity so don't be scared to spend some time on your own don't be scared to you know, say no. Sometimes no is a complete sentence. Sometimes you guys do have a tendency to overextend and over apply yourself water signs. You can be very kind, considerate and giving. And sometimes you don't know when to, you know, when to say no, or you don't know when to draw the boundary. And boundaries are absolutely crucial and absolutely important to your health, both physical, mental, emotional. So there's a need for you for seclusion, especially for those of you that are seeking answers or you don't know what next step to take or you don't know what direction to go. You know, you don't know whether this relationship is going to work out or you don't know if you should, if you should make that significant career switch or, you know, where to go from here. Um, don't let the, the opinions of others dilute your own, okay, dilute your own voice and your own opinion. And don't let your own voice here that speaks the truth here get drowned out by the outside noise. So seclusion for a lot of you is absolutely important here. And I feel like you'll have opportunity for that in the upcoming months. And if you don't, find some because this is going to be absolutely beneficial here for your health here. Because I do feel like you need some time here to gather the strength and to prepare for the changes that are coming in because there are some big changes that are coming in i mean we've got the wheel of fortune here so do not resist some of these changes okay and just following on from that you've got the hangman which tells us that you know the hangman is all about um inactivity here okay um stepping back here and not necessarily taking any action but taking the time to instead gather your thoughts and gather your feelings so don't act if you're Oh, I'm bumping the table. Don't act if you're uncertain about situation. Okay, don't say yes if you really mean no or if you don't know, you know, what you mean here. Um, it's important for you to take a step back with the um and to take a step back with the hangman's energy here because um and the fact that the king of cups is alongside, it tells me that it's also important for you to gather your emotions here. Because some of you have had an emotionally turbulent time here with someone or just within yourself here so i'm seeing that that's going to calm the surface of your emotions it's the ultimate card of surrender so some of you your spirit guides want you to, to want you to surrender okay um what am i surrendering to he ask yourself you need to surrender here to the changes that are coming into your life um and yes i am wearing white to match the background you need to surrender 
not resist okay there are a lot of changes that are coming your um your way he changes in love romance your financial situation your life in general inner changes as well that are going to affect your you know also your world your external world here so do not resist those changes here and it's important that the you know the hangman is the ultimate um surrender the ultimate um card of surrendering yourself letting go breaking old patterns as well okay some of you you have old patterns which do not serve you he guys holding patterns behavioral patterns that um you with these patterns you often have a tendency to self jeopardize or self sabotage so some of you it's important to absolutely let go of um surrender yourself and let go of any breaking patterns um some of you are going through a metamorphosis there's a lot of changes that are happening for you here allow those changes to do what they're here to do guys which is here to transform you um i'm also getting the queen of swords this is very specific but i feel like there is a connecting energy that your spirit guides want you to communicate with because i feel like you still have left you have words that are left unsaid or left unspoken to this person and if you do not get that off your chest if you do not speak to this person for some of you you will not get the closure that you need in order to move on in your life to move on from someone or from a certain relationship or from a past situation or to move forward from something here for others of you i feel like the reason why you still feel like those um there are words left unspoken or left unsaid here because your spirit guide wants you to communicate with your person because that person here that connecting energy for you guys for you water signs that person also has something to say to you and they also feel the same so it's almost like everything that you're feeling that person holds up a mirror back to you so they're also feeling the same okay and that's the reason why i feel like you guys are connecting because you're like this mirror to one another and you mirror each other's emotions um feelings thoughts and flaws so you're not done with this person yet don't think that you're over cuz you're not and your spirit guides actually want you to reach out and communicate for some of you it is because your spirit guides want closure for you for others it's because there is a possibility that there could be a um a reconciliation or a beginning here Ten of Wands. I feel like I did touch on that, but I feel like the spirit guides here are telling you to start saying no. Okay, um, stop over applying or overextending yourself in certain situations. Stop bending over um, backwards for people um, who wouldn't even, you know, um, who wouldn't do the same for you. Okay, so some of you, I feel like, stop doing too much. Um, stop being extra here. Stop. Stop investing so much of yourself, of your time and your energy here where it's not appreciated, it's not requited, it's not returned, okay? Um stop because I feel like you're overextending yourself for someone who truly I don't know that is worth it here. All right guys, and these are your messages from the spirit guides. Thank you as always for watching and listening. I will um be sharing with you more tarot messages throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.